Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey Pomade. Okay, so my sister did not give me this one. I bought this myself, okay? I really actually will tell you what I think about this product. And maybe you can tell judging that you can barely read the label. So, I loved it, okay? So, I've been using it. It's a very grease. It's not greasy, but it's a very oily product, okay? It doesn't feel greasy, like in an unpleasant petroleum jelly sort of way. It just feels nice and oily and emollient. And so, yes, it has, like, chipped away its own labeling because when it gets on my hands and I hold it, the label has, like, just almost completely disintegrated. Okay, but this is, in fact, the Cow's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. My sister kind of got me on to Cow's Daughter because it's like, you know, she got me the Cow's Daughter Vanilla Bean. And I will review, review that in a separate, separate video, but this is just a mimosa hair honey because I really need a pomade because I'm big on pomades. I'm a big pomade sort of girl. And um, I used gel in my hair this wash week. I don't think I'll be using gel again. I did tell you guys after I re reviewed that clear gel how I liked it. I don't like it. It didn't flake, so that's because it didn't flake, but I feel like it's giving me the sticky sort of zigzaggy thing. What would I give this Mimosa Hair Honey? I, I'm trying to make this video fast because I want to just hurry up with the video, but it's a 5 out of 5 star. That's what I would give the video. 5 out of 5 star. It's like, I've used it a lot, okay? It, the consistency is a lot like honey, actually. It's weird, like a like a natural honey. I love that they call the Mimosa Hair Honey because it's a lot like actual honey, okay? It smells glorious. It smells a little bit like honey and a little bit like like I don't know like a fresh daisy or something like a fresh daisy and some honey that's what it smells like how is it as a pomade it's not like the best pomade I would say it's not as good as Moray's but it feels better and it's healthier for your hair than the Moray's pomade okay um it's not as hard holding okay it has a softer hold than the Moray's pomade you can get your regular convenience store but it also just you know you know the hold is softer contains all of these nourishing properties like shea butter beeswax, um, rosemary, rose petals, nettle, you know, so and when you put it on your hair, you generally feel the emollient, moisturizing, nutrient properties. It's like it just nourishes your hair because of all the goodies in it. It contains sea butter, um, all sorts of good stuff, lavender, uh, sage leaf extracts. So all of that really you can feel the difference when you put it on your hair and I love that about the Mimosa hair honey. And it also contains, guess what, honey somewhere on there. I read that before. I can barely read it because the labeling and the ingredients should talk. But yeah, I love it. Five out of five stars. I'm going to keep buying this product. I definitely would recommend it. No, nobody's paying me to say this. I just love this product. This is a very, very good product. Okay, the Mimosa hair honey by Carol's daughter. Okay, so get on to it i love it it gives me this even though you can't see very well i use it with a gel this time and i don't think it was a great combination but it's just this lovely luscious emollient combination so when i use it with my regular shea butter mix it's like the bomb it does give a good fro but there's no weird zigzag crispiness that i'm getting with this gel it's a really really good pomade okay so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video later